there, I'm Lisa Doyle with J Rockers Realtors, and welcome to our Friday How's the Market update. Today is April 15th, and uh, Friday, and I thought what would be a great idea is we always, as you know, give you market updates every week as far as where are we, you know, where's the East Bay market, how's prices looking, you know, how many sales, what's going on. But I think the biggest question that I've gotten more this year than ever is what's going on with mortgages. Sure. mortgage interest, that sort of thing. So I wanted to introduce you. This is one of my favorite all-time lenders of all time. This is Michael Evans. Hi there. Um, yeah. Michael works with a company called Prospect Mortgage. And what I wanted to, and thank you so much for no joining problem. me today. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, what I was hoping that you could do is um, answer some of the biggest questions that we get most common about mortgages and, you know, what's going on with financing and where are we headed, that kind of thing. So, so tell us where we are right now as far as interest rates. Well, interest rates vary depending on how we structure the loan, but we're probably somewhere in the fours to fives. We're right now at, like, I think we're at a 60-year historical low right now. Yeah, it's crazy. So everything is just looking good. And the same with housing prices. So we are starting to see an increase in housing prices, but housing prices are just incredible right now. So interest rates are in the fours. Uh, maybe for an investment property, we might be in the fives. Okay. But it does vary a little bit depending on how you structure the loan. Okay. And that's for most people for a 30-year fix, is that 30 right? 30-year fix, no okay. prepayment penalty. That'd be FHA and conventional. Okay. Yeah, because they're floating around the same. Well, one of the things that we get asked really, um, you, know, you know, probably weekly from consumers and buyers and even people that are looking to sell their homes, wondering how hard is it for the average consumer to get a loan. You know, I think people think it's much harder than it truly is. You know, interest rates have, you know, been so good, loans have definitely tightened up, but Tell us, for a person to buy in our area an average house of say eight hundred thousand, mm -hmm. what would they need to look like? Credit scores and income, those sorts, that sort of thing. Sure, uh, credit scores are actually pretty lenient. So I mean, you could have as little as like a six forty, maybe even a six twenty credit score. Wow. Could even go down to a five eighty, depending on compensating factors. Um, of course, the higher the credit score in a conventional world, the better. Right. Uh, with FHA, you can have a, a lower credit score, and it's fine. As far as debt to income ratios, generally you can look at up going up to a 50% ratio, which is basically 50% of your income. We'd so, like to see you lower than that, but you can. So what you're saying is um, including all their debt and their home mortgage, 50% of their income? Correct. Okay. Re revolving installment and plus their new mortgage payment. Okay. And then they can go up to a 50%. We'd like to see them lower. Uh, we'd like to get people around 45, but we can take them up to 50 if, if need be. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about um, what about down payment? You know, we know that the creative world back in the day when we do seconds and owner carries and all these things that were creative, we we can't do that today. But what's required up to certain price ranges is how much does a person have to put down? Sure. Well, there's a lot of different programs out there. So right now with FHA, you could put down as little as three point five percent. There is even conventional loans where you can put down as little as five percent. So with the lack of second loans out there, in reality, when you look at it now, having a second loan sometimes would have a higher payment than if you'd had private mortgage insurance. Right. And private mortgage insurance is tax deductible up to certain uh, income amounts. So sometimes it's better to just have a, uh, one loan and maybe if you had a 95% loan to value, you're still going to fare better than if you had a second loan. Right. So the market's actually pretty easy that way. So as little as 3.5% down, 3.5% uh, down for FHA, 5% down for conventional. Um, most people usually probably put about 10, mm -hmm. and there's some consumers that put 20. For an investment property, we'd be looking at 20% uh, down. Right. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I can help people up to 10 properties to own 10 properties. So. Okay. Yeah, I know that's, that's shifted back and forth from 10 to 4, <coughs> so we're back up to 10 again is a maximum. Yeah, there's okay. a 1 to 4 grid and, and a 5 to 10 grid. Okay. So. Now, when you say FHA, a lot of people wonder, what, what does that mean? So from a mortgage person's perspective, mm -hmm. um, explain to them what, you know, what the difference between a conventional versus an FHA. Sure. So with FHA, the guidelines are less stringent. Mm -hmm. um, it allows for the consumer to easily get into the home with ratios, FICO scores, and down payment. Um, the mortgage insurance tends to be a little bit less expensive than on a conventional loan. Right. Ratios are a little bit higher. Uh, credit scores are lower. <coughs> so it's just a little bit of a more lenient way to get into a home, would you, would you say? Absolutely. And interest yeah. rates fare just as well as conventional. So right. it's, it's a great deal. Yeah. 
Now tell us about, in our area, we've gone from um, the conforming loan, which you can explain to them what, do, what does that mean to be conforming. We've gone from the conforming loan at the, at the <coughs> 419 mm -hmm. up to the 729, and I guess we're changing back again to a lower number. Tell them what that means. Yeah, so con conforming loan amounts, so that's what uh, Fannie Mae looks at as setting as, uh, uh, it was 417000 they raised it up to 729750 which is conforming basically high balance. It's what Fannie Mae considers not being jumbo. Right. And so um, September 30th, I believe, uh, yeah, September 30th of this year, they're going to lower it back down possibly to 625000 It depends. Okay. But that's okay because we've got, uh, we've come up with solutions to fix that problem. If we're going to be going above 625, we could literally go 625 on up to $10 million. And still have great interest rates for. Uh, I mean, some of those interest rates are actually in the threes or fours yeah. for a jumbo loan. That's good. I know the FHA going into the 729 for a while when we couldn't do anything conventional that was less than 20 percent down. When the mm -hmm. mortgage when the mortgage loans first tightened up, sure. things have now loosened up a little. Where a 10 percent mortgage is still possible. Absolutely. 10 percent down. Absolutely. So that's good. Now, the one thing that people always wonder is where are we headed? You know, I know that there's no crystal ball, and none of us know for sure. But what do you think realistically our rates will be in say the next year or two? Are, are we likely to see a pretty significant rise. Well, that's a good question. And how I look at it is, is, and I think this has a lot to do with, um, you know, President Obama also helping us here, is if rates increase, then I think that it might mess with our economy. Right. So I believe we're going to try to keep them as low as we can because this housing market is really helping our economy. I mean, right now, there is so much good inventory on the market. You know, the, the, the sales have increased that I've watched. Um, I do think that rates will fluctuate up, and then they, you know, like right now, they, uh, like last week they did fluctuate up a little bit, and the last couple of days they've came back down. Okay. So we've gained what we lost within the last three days. So I do see a fluctuation, and it, it, it does kind of roll with the stock market okay. and bonds. So I see it going up, but I also see it coming back down. I don't think we're going to have a significant increase. I'd say that we're going to probably stay in the fours and fives for a long time. Okay. That's so you think at least for the rest of this year? Absolutely. Okay, good. Absolutely. Well, that, that's good because that, you know, as we all know, um, real estate does make the market better. As If real estate can improve ec economically, you know, everything will be stronger. Absolutely. So keeping the confidence in the market. But, uh, but definitely, if you have any, you know, direct questions for Michael, tell them how they can reach you directly. Oh, absolutely. You can give me a call at 925-497-2501 or you can go to my website, which is michaelloans.com. Yeah, and I have to tell you, you know, we've worked with mortgage brokers and mortgage agents and companies for, you know, 24 years, and I don't think I've ever met anyone as honest and hardworking and um, that does the job you do. So, Thank you, you know, very much. We highly recommend Michael. So give him a call, and if you have any questions about your home or anything that I can do to help, my name again is Lisa Doyle. My number direct, 925-890-7443, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.